All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog. We're back here at Beamer and Sound Garage, and we're working on the pit bike's uh, wheel. We still got part of that uh, bearing uh, broke off in it, so we're going to try to get that out. Uh, so, where we're at right here, there's part of the outer roller bearing stuck in there. And we can't get it out. So, <clears throat> a great guy by the name of Mike Willis. Probably the best mechanic I was ever around besides uh, Scott Wilson. And he's just a exquisite mechanic he was. Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Scott Wilson, of course. And Mike Willis was one of the best. He was, uh, oh God, he was a mechanic in the Vietnam War. He was a mechanic on school buses. And he was kind of my mentor. So... He taught me how you could take a welder and you could do a lot of different things with him and Johnny Morehouse. So my attempt is to weld a bead on this and then flip it over and try to knock that race out, that outer race. So here we go. Okay, so there we go. Put a couple tacks on it. I'm seeing spots, of course. <clears throat> I'm gonna hook you up on our apparatus here. Hold tight, everybody. I'm seeing spots now. <laughs> Come on, light. And then we'll flip it over, see if we can't get a hold of it in there. Oh, still there? Yeah. It's just about out. So it's working. I'm going to put you back. <laughs> we got you all upside down now. Huh? We'll put you back in there. We just about got it. I don't know if we got you upside down or what. I think we do. Yeah, we do. Okay. So you can see, it's just about out. So we'll snap you back in. And this screwdriver I'm using is a special steel screwdriver that I learned from, uh, actually learned from Midas Muffler. It's got a steel shank clear through it. So when you hit on it, it's really doing something. So let's see if we can't get it out of there. I mean, we're close. It's just about out. I mean, it's so close, it's not funny. Oh, that weld fell off. That weld there fell off of it. Man, is that close. I dare put my finger in there. <laughs> it's probably still hot. 
Uh, we're going to put another weld on it. <coughs> It's getting close, guys. It's getting close. That's when we find the ground. There's the ground. Okay. Okay. Didn't even turn the argon on that time, which you should have turned the argon on, Barry, but obviously I'm kind of in a rush. We're running out of light. And I'm trying to get this bearing out of there. New part's going to be here probably Tuesday. Well, it's looking close. This definitely walked out of there quite a bit. It's still not out though. Uh. Still got a ways to go it looks like. And it was off of that side again. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing about this. You gotta have a lot of patience for this kind of work. You know, that's why Johnny Morehouse and Jimmy Morehouse and Jeff Morehouse are some of the best around. You know, those guys are the best. Nobody better than the Morehouse brothers, let me tell you, doing this kind of work. Let's turn the gas on. Let's turn the heat up. <coughs> See if we can get some penetration on it. Of course, they're probably about that cool. And I'm not really letting it cool. And if you hit it with water, then you're just uh, really not doing any good either. You're going to shock it. It's probably going to break loose anyways. So I got a couple beads on it. It's definitely further out than it was. It's just not where I want it to be, which is out. <laughs> I really can't see it because I'm not getting any light in there. I'm about ready to break out the drop light. And... There it is. It's about ready to come out now.
Yeah, it's really, it's just about out. Once I got that race out and that inner part of that bearing out, then it's, I'm done, you know? If I could just get on that lip right there. Oh, it's just, it's just back breaking. My back is just literally killing me. It doesn't help that I can't see because it's getting dark out and I can't see down in that hole. Uh -uh. I'll do it this way. There we go. There it went. Just hit me right in the foot. There you go, guys. The great Johnny Morehouse. And of course, can't forget Mike Willis. <clears throat> so I knocked it out. It did what I wanted it to do. You know, uh, I learned from the best. I mean, I've been around hundreds of mechanics in my life. I worked for Car X and Midas Muffler and Meineke Muffler and <laughs> Firestone and Goodyear. And I worked at the dealership, Mike Castruzzi Ford, Milford. And all the piece, people I worked with, some of the most influential uh, people were people like Mike Willis. He was the head mechanic of School Bus Garage. Uh, Scott Wilson, who's another exquisite mechanic that actually took over my spot when I left there. And I've learned a lot from him. But this was an old Willis trick. Something that Johnny Morehouse would have pulled off or Jimmy. Jeff, and of course I would have learned it from Mr. Willis. And I'm sure Mr. Wilson would have told me the same thing. But I didn't get a chance to ask him. He was out riding his uh, motorcycle today, enjoying the, the weekend. So, there you go. <coughs> we did it. We came, we overconquered. You know, we dominated. <laughs> and we win. So, Beamer and Sun Garage wins again, people. There you go. So now we're just waiting on our new bearing. And that's the outer race. You can see where I welded a couple beads on it. And then I took the uh, screwdriver with the steel shank, clear through it. And a little claw hammer, <laughs> a carpenter's claw hammer, and tapped it out. So that's it, guys. We just wanted to show you what you can do with a simple MIG welder. There you go. Arm little MIG welder, which is... Well, this was a thousand dollar welder. It's a Miller Monatic 135, 115 volt wire feed. It's badass. It did the job, and it continues to do the job for us here. So we'll uh, wrap this up. We'll put our compressor away. Don't delay. And we win. So now we're just waiting on the bearings. Uh, well, actually, a bearing, because we've got the other roller bearing. We're going to install it over here. We'll put the new one here, and we're done. We'll put the back wheel back on the pit bike. <coughs> and eventually, we're going to get onto this uh, crazy thing right here, which is our spoiler for our Indy go-kart. And we'll put that on. And we'll get back to the pit bike. And... There she is, just waiting for her, waiting for her rear, her rear wheel to be put back on her. And then we're going to get it back on and go for another ride, people. <laughs> on our little 12, or it's a 24-volt pit bike. I wanted to work on the other bike, and I haven't got to it. It's been too hot. You can see it's, uh, you know, sun's down, it's dark. You know, street lights are on out here, outside lights on. <coughs> Check out them Z28s. Wheels for a Z28. I got four of them. So, I got a little overkill. I got all these other hammers and chisels. Well, not hammers, but chisels out and punches. And I didn't need all of it. I just needed a flat head screwdriver with a steel shank and a claw hammer. Tappy, tappy, and wham. She's out. So, there we go, guys. 
We're winners here at Beamer Sun Garage. We got the V8 here still 289. We're going to try to get that down on this car uh, up on the hill there, that 65 Mustang up on the hill, way up there, that blue one. We'll try to get that motor in that car this year. Uh, and then we're going to be, uh, you know, we're going to be winning. So there you go. The door down for the lucky fact he wants to go in the garage and hang out. We just got to put these small hand tools away. And we will, well, look at that steel shank, man. That's a bad boy right there. Look at that screwdriver. That's an old screwdriver right there with a steel shank in it. That belonged to my grandfather on my, I think on my mother's side. It might even be Papa Clyde's. I can't remember. I've had that screwdriver for years. My dad gave me tools. And my grandfather on my mother's side gave me all his tools. <clears throat> so, we win. We came, we conquered, like I said. We dominated. And we're winners here at Beamer and Sun Garage. So we knocked it out. We didn't have to heat it. I thought we was going to use a torch and heat it. And, and it wasn't that bad. Just a couple tack welds. A couple different times. So on one side, I had to keep tack welding it. And then just use some patience and some, you know, just uh, brute muscle, you know. <laughs> and tappy tappy and on the ground. So we win. There's my 69 Mach 1. We're going to get with that here soon. We're going to do something. We got a fuel pump. We got a fuel center unit. We got a tire for it. We're going to get playing with that thing. So, you know, we ain't forgot about our cars. We still got them all. You know, I've had numerous people try to buy them. They're not for sale, okay? They may be for sale in about 10 or 20 years from now, but not right now. I will not sell any of these cars. Uh, so, you know, basically, it's like I tell everybody you see something I got, you like it. And I would suggest you save your money. Go out and find one just like it. Then put your fat ass in the tow truck seat like I had to do. Go get it. That's what I had to do. So none of my cars are sale. None of my Mustangs. Not my Roadrunner. You know, my tow trucks. None of my cars are for sale. I've been collecting cars since, uh, oh God, for 40 years I've been collecting cars. This car here, I was after it for 30 years. And I finally got that car. So that, you know, that's a special car to me, to my heart. The old Dusty, the Duster one, the Dust 74 Duster. And there's my Roadrunner. I call it the No Name Roadrunner because I don't have a name. So everybody come up with this No Name Nationals they're going to. And I don't think I'm going to make it. But that's my No Name Roadrunner. That's what I call it. The No Name Roadrunner. It's got an air grabber hood. It's uh, supposed to be originally a, a 101. Uh, it doesn't have the original drivetrain anymore. But it was a 334 speed pistol grip car. A burnt orange inside, burnt orange outside. Uh, so it was supposed to be a super rare car and I do believe it is a rare car and I won't sell for I don't care how much money you got It's got some center lines on it It's got a 440 727 in it now Like I said, it was a 334 speed pistol grip car and we're gonna try to get this old girl going again uh, The heat though is on so <laughs> it's just gonna be a slow go on it You know, we got a little a little wear with it a little place with it here in the winter Tinkering around with it, trying to figure out more and more stuff. We believe timing chain popped and it just put the valves into the pistons. It's locked it up tighter than the drum. So we're going to get on with it. And we'll see you in the next Beamer and Sun Garage. Check out our friends, Actions Auto Parts, Jamie Phillips. Check out our buddy, also Auto Savage Outlaws. And always, Scott Speed Shop. Jedediah, his dad, and him got some cool uh, videos out. Check out their chargers and their cool Dookie van. My buddy Scott Speed Shop. Check out my buddy. Also, Two Hacks Garage. And we'll see you on the next one. Beamer and Sun Garage, guys. We win. Bye-bye.